I'm Dean. And I'm Katie. And, and this is Hiking in Gamma! Guma is one of only eight Japanese prefectures, which is entirely landlocked. 14% of Guma is designated as a national park, and almost all of the prefecture is mountainous. Several of Guma's mountains are well known to hikers, but none more so than the Akagi Mountains. Easily accessible from Tokyo by train or car, and climbable by even less experienced hikers, Mount Akagi is one of Guma's best known attractions. Can you see it? See the, the giant gate? Oh, yes. That's massive, isn't it? That is massive. Here we go. This is the Akagiyama Otori, which you pass through on the way to the mountain range. From this point on, the road will pass through mostly nature before arriving at the visitor center. That's him, isn't it? Today's highest point. Hello? <laughs> This is the visitor center for Okagi Mountains. And then um, there's a bus stop, or you can just drive here and go to the parking. And obviously, the parking is free, so you can pack up and stuff if you, yeah, when you get ready. Let's get going. So, we were like this very beautiful woman here driving in a car from the south of Guma up here to Lake Onuma. What we will do is we will walk along the side of the lake quickly to the shrine by the lake, say our prayers, and then we're gonna walk up here and get on this mountain path and we're gonna buy like these cuties, but without mum, just me and KG. And we're gonna go over here to the highest point, which is 1,828 meters. Then we're gonna go down through the mountains along the ridge. Hopefully we won't meet this bear who seems to be waiting for us here. And we'll go down here back to almost where we start and we'll have a little look at this little marsh. And back to the car park and we'll be finished. Okay. Let's go. Lake Onuma is found just north of Maibashi city. It's a caldera lake 1,400 meters above sea level and is popular with visitors all year around. In the summer, tourists come to enjoy hiking, camping and boating. In autumn, the changing of leaves creates incredible views and then in winter, the lake freezes over and presents visitors a chance to try ice fishing. Keiji and I would pay our respects at Akagi Shrine, located on the water's edge and then head into the mountains. Oh no. The Kitsutsukibashi, which translates as the Kingfisher Bridge, was being repaired. Let's find another way around. So we found another way in, stopping to greet the giant koi carp along the way. Oh, they're big. go to the shrine, check it out, soak up the atmosphere and have a little bow and protect yourself before the big climb. So this is the start of the hiking trip. Yay! And um, the big Akagi Yama. So we're going in the right direction? Yes, we are. Let's start. Let's go. What do 
are you doing, KG? I'm trying to get my gloves. Why? It's so slippery. Uh-huh. And um, it's a bit unsafe. Yuga. Wow. Feel good? Feel good. Yeah. There we go. Oh Numa. The lake. Kuro Kurobiza. Which is? Which is a mountain and it's the highest mountain on on this this Okagi Trail. Yay! So this is 30 minutes maybe into climbing up Kurobi. And I know me and Keiji are both feeling fantastic. We're, we're feeling pretty fit and strong at the moment after doing a few mountains this summer especially after conquering Mount Fuji. Uh, but the only thing is, it's not particularly steep, except for the very start. But what it is, it's extremely bouldery, and it's been raining every day until today. So it's also slippy. So something to take into account. It's, uh, you might find yourself moving slower than you expected. It is very, very bouldery. <laughs> Caution. Alright then. How long do I have to watch it for? あ、ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
Let's see if that makes you go fast. The tallest peak on the Mount Akagi range is Mount Kurobi. It's an approximately two hour hike to get from the trailhead to the peak. It's considered climbable by beginners and is an easy day hike. As is often the case when hiking in Japan, we should expect to share the route and the peak with lots of other hikers. From the 1,828-meter-high Kurobi Mountain, you can gaze across northern Guma and Numata City. We just had lunch and we came back to this point. And we're not gonna go to there. Instead, we're gonna go to Mount Komogatake. Okay. Let's go over there. All right. Let's go. Let's go. It's a bit different, isn't it, Katie? Yeah. tricked us and there's still 500 meters left. We're halfway, can I? Yeah. Okay. Feel good? Yeah. All right. Okay. Shall we? Yeah. But that over there, ah, is that? Is that? Yeah. Oh, that's tiny. Yeah, that's it. It's tiny. Yeah. And after that, we'll go down and then we're on the moon again. That's right. All right, that's easy. The weather is very different on this side of the mountain, isn't it? Yes. So when we were e either just by chance and we were lucky when we were coming up because we got mostly clear skies and a bit of sunshine, but this side of the mountain feels wet. So maybe it's got more cloudy since we've been hiking, but I feel like on this side the vegetation's a bit different. It's a bit damp feeling, a bit dark feeling. But what we like about it is it's very flat yes. walking in between the mountains. So we can move pretty quick. I think I can see the peak right there.
685. What's happened? Not 600 pounds. 1,000. That sounds right. 1,685. Just for this post is so old. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing now? We are going down to the lake. That's some serious down, isn't it? And um, you know what? It will only take 35 minutes. Okay. Because there's only steps, basically. I think we've got to drop about 300 meters of altitude. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Let's get it done. All right. are very popular in the summer. It gets busy around the lake. Not everyone is here for hiking though. Most people are just here to enjoy the lake. Like my little brother Tao. Oh, Tao, hello, buddy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tao, And this time I'm in a swamp boat. 